Hello, and welcome to another one of my Let's Plays. This game is Limbo, L-I-M-B-O, um, and it's the story of this boy who has somehow ended up in Limbo. And being in Limbo, he's looking for, I believe, his lost sister. Um, at any rate, it's on Steam. And it looks like kind of a trippy kind of game. Um, right now, he's kind of waking up. Um, controls are pretty simple. Just, you know, um, directions and then uh, control for action. And uh, actually, I have tried this first little bit. Um just to see how things go and it's actually kind of comical because there is a um, a pit right here with spikes that I fell into several times before I learned how to jump um, which was not so great so you don't have to things like this and press control to like grab it and then somehow this does something um, I'm not exactly sure what genre this falls in. I think maybe like okay, yeah. like action adventure type thing. You can swing a little bit with this too. So uh So that's good. Oh, I think I just drowned. Uh, <laughs> so I can't actually really hear any music. I don't know if this game has music or if my, my volume might be too low, but I don't think I actually hear anything other than just basic sound effects. So yeah, it's um, kind of a trippy, sort of weird, uh, but certainly interesting game. I don't know how challenging it's going to be. Uh, right now it seems fairly scripted. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of different things I could do here. But it looks like I'm sailing off into the distance. <laughs> on a ship with no sails. Um, I guess I'm going deeper into limbo or something. So, one thing I will say though is the graphics in this game, they're, they're not like, um, sort. I wouldn't say they might, they're not necessarily the best uh, in terms of intensity but they have a really cool style. Um, that being said, I'm already at a point again where I'm not sure what the... Maybe I need this rope here or something. Can I do anything with this? I'm kind of just mashing control and um, seeing what I can do. Um, and it looks like I might actually be stuck and as such I might have to... Uh, I'm pretty sure if I jump in the water I die. Yeah, so he cannot swim. <laughs> I mean, the controls are very simple. It's just direction and then control for for action. I can't seem to jump on anything. I mean, I can pull this up here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So I can actually pull the ship up on land and use it as a... I guess this is a way to get up. Oh, okay. 
sweet. Is this like a tree in the jungle or something? Okay, ah, okay. So you can jump back and forth. Oh, oh dear. He does not bounce. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this game is broken up to chapters or levels or anything. Um, I also don't know about dialogue or really anything with it. Uh, I haven't I actually haven't done the played that much of this game. Um, in fact, this is the furthest I've ever been in the game. So this is all new to me. I'm kind of okay, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to get up onto the right hand side. <laughs> and um, a seemingly very simple task that is uh, somehow eluding me. So, <laughs> but this is another one of those games that I, you know, I really like. It's fairly cheap, um, and you know, like most Steam games, most Steam games that aren't um, aren't like big releases, you know. So, in that aspect, it's fairly cool. Um, okay. Easy enough. Um, and it has its cool own little feel to it, you know? It's very epic and sort of sad and depressing, but very artistic. And... Oh. And kind of messed up. <laughs> um, but so I guess I have to jump over these. I guess I can't jump over those. I do like that it spawns you right close to where your um, whatever your task is. I guess I have to like move these. Oh. So I can drag it and separate it away so that I can jump over both of them. <laughs> oh man. But see, this is this is very cool because they use pretty simple graphics um, and, and concepts. And, and with these simple concepts you know, the, the 2D side-scrolling, but with, um, with carefully placed, um, oh, I bet I have to use the, um, how do I jump? Okay, I bet somehow, if I use this, I can pull it over here, and that will interact in some way Ah, okay. Very cool. So this has some puzzle-solving elements to it. Maybe not as challenging as the old Legend of Zelda games. But nonetheless, um, pretty cool. So I'm, I'm just wondering now if there's like a chapter break or anything like that. Um, certainly I hope there's some save points. Um, Okay, I just died a very horrible death. <laughs> Again. So there's some trial and error in this game as well. Uh, whoa, I don't know where that came from. As well, is what I intended to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyways, I don't know if this game is uh, has any like boss battles or other characters, or if you just sort of play alone. 
I also can't tell if this like sort of slow motion thing is how the game's supposed to be, or is uh, or is due to my computer having a hard time. And there I die. So he really doesn't like water. Even like a few feet of water. And he just lets all of his air out. Oh. Yeah, this is though a pretty beautiful game actually. Uh, um, and it reminds me in a way of... Yeah, he just died. In that. So that's a little annoying that he dies in such, like, pretty much if his mouth goes into water, he dies. Like. Oh my gosh. Um. So it's, it's, the game is also a little frustrating, um, which you don't think it would be given there's only like, f like I think there's a total of five buttons you can press. Maybe I'm doing this, approaching this wrong. But I'm dying a lot. If I don't uh, figure out this puzzle fairly soon, I am going to uh, call it an episode. Just because I don't want to frustrate you guys too much. Um, uh, you know, I certainly don't want to turn you off to a potentially very fun game. Um, I just can't seem to get this. So guys, I am going to call this an episode. I know it's a little short. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this game is worth taking a look at. It's called Limbo. And I'll be taking another look at it again later. So until next time, guys, take care. Thanks.